Hey guys, this is Fiend Fairy 91, and I'm talking about the Sony. I don't. I'm not sure if it was called a state of play, but it was like a gaming showcase, and they showed off a lot of stuff. It just happened like yesterday. I'll probably leave a link in the description below. And while they showed off a lot of games, what I want to talk about actually is the Project Q, which is basically Sony's answer to the Nintendo Switch. Okay. Now, this unlike the Switch will need Wi-Fi to play because it doesn't actually have the games downloaded. It streams them and only streams the games that are already downloaded on your PS5. So that may be a hassle, but let's get to the good stuff. It looks cool. The graphics will probably be a good deal better. And it's cool that people who have PS5s will be able to play their games on the go. But here's the thing with needing Wi-Fi, that would kind of suck because like, at least with me, because I play my Switch usually at home, and when I play it on the go, certain times I wouldn't have Wi-Fi. Then sometimes I wouldn't have Wi-Fi, depending on the airline, you know, what you have and stuff like that. Or sometimes I wouldn't access the Wi-Fi at least. That would probably create some sort of hassle for some people who would like to have played it, like, you know, in a place where they may not have Wi-Fi. Or maybe not even the best Wi-Fi, because if they're streaming it, you probably need decent Wi-Fi to stream the game properly. But that aside, one of the biggest disturbing factors for this, I think, is going to be the price. Because with it only streaming the games remotely, I don't think it can really even be, I'm just going to say it, this may be controversial, but I'm just going to say it, $2.99 and sell well. You know why? Because if you need Wi-Fi and you're buying this for $300 and it just is playing the games that you already own on your PS5, I, I just don't see that really selling well because people are going to be like, now I'll just play my PS5 and then, you know, when I go out, I'll just uh, uh, not play, you know, <laughs> like I just don't see people spending too much money on this. But so I think price is going to be a big determining factor here. What price point do you think this would have to sell, especially you PS5 owners? I want to hear from you for you to buy this. And do you guys think not seemingly be at least being able to play your games without Wi-Fi is going to hinder you in any way? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe and may God bless you all.